Yo, what is good, boys? Hope we're all having a awesome Friday, boys. We're going over my team today, kind of how I build it, what abilities I run, why I make the decisions on my team that I do. I am not a professional Madden player. Let's put that out there. I'm honestly mid at best, but I do know a lot about the game, kind of what works, what doesn't work, what abilities are good, and how to build a damn good commander's theme team. So without further ado, let's slide over onto my team where I can show you guys how I constructed the best commander's theme team on the internet. All right, so let's start with the offense. I got Kurt Cousins slinging the rock for me over at quarterback. I love this Kurt Cousins card. I tried out Jaden Daniels, was not a fan of that Jaden Daniels card whatsoever. Kirk Cousins though, I run most of my ability points on him too. I run pass lead elite aka crew for one. I run hot rod master for three, set feet lead for one, and slinger for zero. He also gets like a bunch of other abilities, but this is kind of what I've messed around with and eventually came to realize that like this is what I want to use. And out of my nine, I'm running five AP on Kirk. Let's talk about the receivers next, where I don't have any ability points costing, but I do have a bunch of free abilities. Start with Harold Carmichael. He's my outside, my go-to when it's, you know, chuck it up, somebody's down there. I run Harold Carmichael. He's got zero AP matchup nightmare and zero AP mid and elite. Harold Carmichael is not boosted whatsoever for me, but still, this card is a demon on the field. On my receiver two spot is where this card gets juice because he is the commander's plus two speed. We'll check out Terry's stats first. 99 speed, 96 jump, amazing route running. You really can't see the boost benefit this Terry McLaurin card because he already is just that guy. He is so good on my team. I run Yakim up, aka crew, my favorite X Factor in the entire game. So glad Terry got it. I run runoff elite on him. I really don't know if this works, but I wasn't rocking with um red zone threat i also have evasive really good just you know that combination with uh rack em up or yak em up aka crew is lethal and then i have tyreek hill running my like other like mini slot for me i also have yak who i run the other slot for me but tyreek hill is like my main go-to slot receiver i have yak em up aka crew it's not glowing for me he has route tech he has human joystick and jukebox card is really freaking good too He's not getting juiced in anywhere anywhere on the field except his strength, I guess. Not sure where that's coming from, but still. 99's all over the board for Tyreek Hill. Let me talk about my receiver four a little bit. I have Yak. He touches the field when I go 5-Y. I love this card. He's been on my team for a mini now. And, you know, he gets times two commanders cam. Let me check out his stats, though. 99 speed, 92 jump, Yak. Yak was a stream legend for the Moshi streams back in the day, and yeah, Yak is really good, but honestly, my best tip when building your teams for receivers, go free abilities all day long. They're, like You guys see my team. I got very good receivers, and not a single one of them have a ability point wasted on them, but they all have abilities on them. At the tight end position, I run, I run a lot of tight end sets, so obviously I have to have Luke Musgrave. It might be time for me to move on from Musgrave, to be honest, pretty soon, but right now, I can't complain. I like this card a lot, 98 speed, what more do you really want from your tight end? I also have Dalton Schultz, a really underrated card down here too, who gets Commander's Chem, so he'll probably be here for the long, hole, long run, 97 speed, 92 strength, 89 run block is fire on this card, 6 foot 5, Dalton Schultz, fire tight end, and then last but not least, Jordan Reed, team captain, I mean, come on. We can go look at my running back, because I love this card. Way I play Madden, it's like, I kind of spam the run. I'm a, I'm a little bit of a run spammer. I mean, why wouldn't you when you got big Eric Dick Dickerson on your field? Angry runs, I prefer angry runs over NFL Fright 100. Crazy. I do. I don't know what it is. I like that. Actually, I'll tell you what it is. I like that it glows the entire game rather than the... um. Fright Train only grows close for nine plays and then off and have to get it back. Once I run my nine plays with Eric Dickerson, I'm just, I'm, I'm dicking on people the rest of the game. And you know, it's how we like to play here. Human, kidding, pause. Human Joystick though for zero AP. Tank for one, Jukebox for one, and energi Energizer for zero. Yeah, I also have my Ring of Honor token put on the big dick himself. Offensive line wise, I picked up Robert Hunt yesterday. He is a little bit slow is something that I've been seeing people say all over the uh, internet. I haven't had an issue with him playing my right tackle position though. 
I like the Secure Pro, and I also have Screen Pro on him too, just because he gets it for free. Why not toss it on there? On my right guard, Brandon Sheriff, I'm running 1AP Post Up or 1AP Secure Protector on him too because I had an extra ability point, didn't know where to put it, and I probably should toss that around, but we'll, we'll mess around with that. Tyler Larson gets the job done, lower overall center, but really can't complain. Brett Grimes, dude, come on, EA, give me a left guard upgrade. I'm not going out of position again for a second offensive line position. And then Trent Williams wrapping up the offensive line. We can take a look at Trent's stats, though. He's juiced up a little bit. 99 strength, 97 run block. Where is Trent Williams' speed? I don't know if they have it on this card, but where is it? Down here somewhere. That eh, doesn't really matter. Trent Williams, though, he'll be on the team until he gets an upgrade or the end game. I know he doesn't get secure protector, but I, you know team chemistry i have to take that is the offense fellas now that i'm thinking about this right now i might be taking that secure pro off of trent off of brandon sheriff and put something on trent doesn't get anything too crazy but it's all right look at the chems though we're 52 out of 50 commanders three out of three acrobat and motivators two out of three aka cruise ytk i'm pretty sure that's just kurt cousins and then you guys can see it on here nothing else really to yeah i mean it's just mainly here for this 52 out of 50 but I am about to boost it up to 53 out of 50 because I just picked up that Johnny Newton draft promo. With that said, though, let's go check out the defense because this defense is this defense is fire. And here is the defense. I love this defense. A few quick things before you guys go. Damn, why has he got those cards in? Chop Robinson never touches the field for me. Sean Taylor doesn't play anymore. Johnny Newton, Deron Payne, John Allen, they don't play for me either. I have all, I sub all that in. We'll talk about that though when we get there. Let's start with the safeties though, because I love this Justin Simmons. I'm spending an out of position like spot on a theme team on a 96 overall combine Justin Simmons. And I don't know if I'm going to change for a minute. I mean, look at this card, 99 zone, 93 man, 94 press, 96 excel, 98 speed. Oh, and do what I mentioned, shut down NFL Combine, obviously he's going to be a glower, I run mid zone and deep zone KO, you have to on your safeties, it is a little bit expensive, but I, I have the extra ability points, so why not use them? The other side though, my most recent pickup for this defense besides Johnny Newton, Troy Palomalo, picked him up the other day when the mystery packs were out, and he was, you know, like dirt cheap, going for a basically a quick sell value, was like, Hell yeah, I'll pick him up. Card's been amazing, and I can see why people were raving about him when he came out. Pick artist for free, deep zone for one, mid zone for one, and then I don't, I'm not gonna, I don't have the extra token. I'm not taking it off Dickerson until I get rid of Dickerson. So until then, I'll only run two of the three KOs on Troy P. Not gonna complain though. For a minute though, I was running this cam curl at my safety, and this card was disgustingly good too. 97 speed, 99 excel, 98 zone, 98 zone coverage. I recommend if you guys need a strong safety, go pick up this cam curl. Gets every single team cam because he is one of those free uh free agent cards. Let's talk users now. Who plays, who doesn't play? Ted Hendricks is my main user. That guy will be on my team. I mean, I just don't see how I get rid of Ted Hendricks unless we get another Harold Carmichael. And then, of course, Harold Carmichael is taking this spot right back. 97 speed, though, 6 foot 7. I run Lurk Artist, and I believe mid zone KO on him in case I don't want to use him. Yeah, mid medium route KO. I might take that off and throw something else on him. But it's free, and I, didn't, I don't think there's anything else too crazy here that I could potentially put on him. Yeah, goal line, goal line stuff and run stopper could be cool, but I just don't. I don't know. I like having that uh, KO because if I do have to man him up against like a running back, he does knock that pass out on like flats, flat routes, Texas routes. He's really good against those. And the other user that plays for me is Bobby Wagner because he is a commander. 97 speed, six foot is a little small, but like don't really matter. Free lurk artist. He'll get better when I get that uh, max out token, but I'm only level 22. Got to keep grinding out my season six field pass. Can DBs now. Dion Primetime Sanders is my DB1. 99 speed, 99 man, 99 zone. 99's all over the board. I love this card. He's a beast. Kick returner or return man, whatever it's called. Return man for free. Come on, give it to me. And then deep in zone KO for two. Medium zone and short route for free Dion is a dog now I don't run an x-factor on him because I run universal coverage on Tariq Wallen 
I also love this card too. Tariq Woolen needs a golden ticket. I just made a YouTube short talking about how Tariq Woolen needs an upgrade. This card is so good. I run Universal Coverage, NFL Combine, obviously. Mid zone KO for one and deep zone KO for one. Um, I got this card for free too. So like, come on. 99 speed, 99 man, 99 zone. This card is basically a 99 overall. He's six foot four. Did I mention that earlier? I love Tariq Woolen. Moving on though to my corner three spot where I run DRC. Dude, my roommate's dog is my roommate's dog is barking. Sorry if you guys are in the background. DRC though, 99 speed, 99 man, 97 zone. DRC is really good too. I used to run that X Factor on him. Don't do it as much anymore because I have Tariq Wollen, so there's just no need. But DRC is a dog in that secondary for me. At the defensive line position, I run Brian Arakpo off the left edge because he gets Colossal for 1 AP. It's disgusting. He also gets Lurk Artist for 0, which is so funny. You boys know when the quarterback does like that throw out of pressure or throw out a sack. Yeah, Brian Arakpo will pick those off and take them to the crib. He also has like 96 speed on this team, so he's taking it all the way to the house. Six foot four. Brian Arakpo is a dog. One thing though I want you guys to let me know down below, do you prefer Tackle Supreme or No Outsiders? Right now I'm on a Tackle Supreme wave, but I might be switching over to No Outsiders. Outside stretch is kind of killing me, but I've been liking Tackle Supreme so far. On the other edge though, I have a Bruce Smith, Ultimate Legend. This card for what it is, no abilities, no Colossus, just makes plays constantly for me. 94 speed, 98 excel, 99 pass move. Uh, 95 finesse move. Bruce Smith is a really good card too. And if you guys haven't picked up Bruce Smith, he gets Bills Chem 2, I believe. But definitely pick up Bruce Smith to give him a try. Card is disgusting. Now my specialists are on the free Young Way Koo, free Pat McAfee. Both get Commanders Chem. Both get all Team Chem. So if you guys aren't using them, what are we doing? Go pick them up. They were both free. Deion Sanders kick returner. Deion Sanders kick returner. You know he had to do it, right? Come on. I have a 350,000 coin limited dime kick returner still on this team because whatever we don't need the coins and now to the specialist so i didn't mention this earlier i have chris harris as my starting slot db outside of um whoever else i have in their drc i have chris harris on the other side i don't run one step ahead but i run secure tackler mid zone ko and flat zone all for free he also gets a bunch of these chems which i actually want to flip over right now Hey, shout out me for doing this video and then making boot chemming my team up even more. Except Chris Harris doesn't chem him whatsoever because he's not in my lineup. So that's why I didn't do it. All right. My starting rushing, my uh, starting defensive tackle though is Warren Sapp. Comes off the middle for me. Card has been so good ever since he came out in February. Um, yeah, 90 speed, six foot two, but he's 303 pounds, just big body in the middle. I need Warren Sapp to get an upgrade ASAP so I can just pick him up, put him on my squad because Warren Sapp card's so good. Uh, obviously I have Brian Arakpo rushing off the edge and then sub linebackers. I have Ted Hendricks and Bobby Wagner. Slot receivers, Tyreek Hill and Yak, like I was mentioning earlier. And then running backs, I have my Dickerson and Darren McFadden. So just a quick little piece of advice, team building. As you can see here, I have Chris Harris and Warren Sapp. They're not getting, they're not boosting any team chems, but they're not taking anything away because I have them in the slot cornerback slot and rush the tackle slot. That also means that they're starting for me. So I don't have to sub in anything. I come out here in the exact formation I want. I come in here and I have Sapp playing in my defensive tackle position and then I have Chris Harris Jr. and DRC playing in my slot DBs, and it just makes, you know, the game easier, less uh, subbing you have to do. I run Jets offense, 49ers defense. I don't give a damn about strategy cards. I have legendary ones. I quick sell them. I, I don't, uh, I haven't pulled one that, like, really is that life-changing for me, so I just, you know, fuck them. Don't need your strategy cards. I do want to pull a goddamn uh, head coach. Give me a Ron Rivera purple. Haven't pulled it yet. Same with the commanders. I'm not buying them. You can't, I just... I hate the whole team affinity strategy thing. I just can't pull them. Whatever. That's that's a, that's a conversation for another day. And then visuals, obviously, you're running out the black, dark mode, home jerseys, and then the white out for the away. And fellas, that is my entire team. Let me know what you guys think about it down below. What do I need to upgrade? What sucks? If you guys enjoyed this video, you made it this far, let me know if you guys want me to keep making videos like this down below. And if you made it this far and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? You listen to me talk about my ultimate like fantasy fake video game team for nine minutes clearly you enjoying me so go hit that subscribe button be emoji og we on the road to 1k we gonna hit it soon 
But yeah, that's everything I got. I'll catch you boys later. I got a banger plan for them later today. So tap in for that. And then yeah, peace fellas. Thank you.